From Turning Stone Resort in upstate New York, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. This week, we find ourselves being pampered at the ultra swanky Turning Stone Resort in Verona, New York. Their VIP lounge is the perfect backdrop for our celebrity cash game, and their scenic landscape was the perfect backdrop for a number of ALS ice bucket challenges. You remember those. Anyway, once everyone was dry and our extremities were no longer numb, we made our way up to the VIP lounge and kicked off our cash game. And while some of these players were just getting warmed up after getting chilled with a bucket of ice, other players were about to feel the burn. Let's meet who's at today's table. I wouldn't leave that game. Some pretty big names and some pretty big stacks joining us tonight, but the biggest stacks buying in for the Max 20K is Phil Locke and Sean Deeb. Phil Helmuth buying in for the minimum at 5K. Yeah. Blinds are 25 and 50. We got a $100 straddle from Liv Bory. Tilted, you three better. All these players in for a minimum of $5,000. In his defense, Cindy Kerr's Lake makes it 225. Big blinds before the flop with a call from two. Phil Locke. But Sean Deeb is so good, Phil, that he can't, after David he went Patton to the bathroom, calls. whatever, gathered himself or whatever he says he did. <laughs> he came back and he won that 35000 back within like half an hour. It was impressive. It's hard to win 35K in a 25-50 game. With the right dynamic, crazy Cherish stuff. Andrews calls from the big blind, and Liv yeah, Bory calls from the straddle. So five players together as we see our first flop tonight at Turning Stone. All right, may uh, two huge hands happen here. So I think Sean's trying the tight strategy today. <laughs> you didn't see some of the cards that played already. Yeah, we played a half Two enough. pair for Bory, and so she checks. Pretty tight. Kerr's Lake, the initial raiser bets. 575 is her bet. Bory makes it 1500. Kerslake will fold, and a $100 straddle turns into a $3,200 pot for Liv Bory. Is it legal to just put in the minimum? It probably won't be the minimum for long. Just right, but you know. it's legal, it's allowed, it's not like do seven where you have to come in for a raise or anything like that? I mean, if you want to be that guy. Like, Mike's so angry. Is that legal? <laughs> I told you it was not going to be the minimum for long. <laughs> I wanted to see the hand, you know, without putting 8,000 in. Like Are you see betting 85% plus? Like, no matter what? Probably. I feel like, you know. The Olympic raise would probably work. If you make it like 15,000, I'd probably fold. I feel like I have to play the hand. I came in for a limp. I, you know, just not. Not and what a flop That's for Phil power. Locke. Flops a or queen high flush. D with just a pair of jacks. Non power. That's good for me. I think that I think I have a little something going on. Could that I do it? I also have a little something going on. No, that's not going to do it. Would it help if I told you that I meant to bet 550, but I bet five and a quarter? You want to agree to put in 550? No. Yes. No. Five and a quarter is 20. That was a trick to get information. I hope you didn't get anything. Oh, I like that card. I also like that card. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Sometimes I have it. What does he have? Flop the flush. 118 to 1 or so is what happened there. <laughs> I don't even know the last time I limped with queen 8 suited. Maybe I have never done it. Well, I just I, knew that if I came in, you were ready to raise me. So I was like, I am I coming for 50? How I not I had to raise. You got to find a way that you can see a flop. I was you like, you know, like this way for 300 yeah. I can look. And then not have the lead in the hand and be in a very bad spot for the rest of the hand and whatever. 
Here comes Astro Girl. She's out of position, but she loves her hand. So she's gonna do something. There it is. 575, 425, 350. 100. Bori makes it 400 wow. with jacks. I got a pretty wide range here to get involved. Oh, that's that's like top of my range. Let's go. That's a good hand. It might not be in a minute. It might not be in about a second. Two over cards on the flop to Liv's pocket jacks. Uh, six and a quarter. Definitely After six Borey's and a quarter. check, Phil Lock at 625. And wow, we're going a call. Deep space here. <laughs> Oh wow, the turn is a jack, so that gives Locke the straight check, and Bori a set of jacks. They both check. Oh. Any 10 makes a straight loop. 2,300 and a quarter. It's the perfect bet because you can't call and you can't fold. You're trapped. It's like a mind warp. That. So she's going to tank till the end of time? Is that the plan? It's when the unstoppable <laughs> force meets the unmovable object, there's no action. <laughs> we'll have to cut. We're to wrap. Adam, we're all going home. She can't raise, fold, or call. She's trapped. <laughs> but wait, this is live stream. She could wait 31 minutes, and then they'd yeah. announce your whole character. Yes, that's a great idea. Wow. All right. Good fold. Nice Good, Good fold. fold. Good fold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Phil Locke is rolling early tonight on Poker Night. I bet 23-25 unless I have it. And that was a tough fold from Liv Bory, but she did the right thing. We've got more tank battles when we return. Plus, a little later on, we'll pivot from the small screen to the silver screen as we review famous poker scenes in cinema with a segment called Poker Night at the Movies. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Thanks for coming back to Poker Night in America. Let's get back to the cash game. Poker Night in America brought to you by 888poker, where the world plays online. Upstate New York this week on Poker Night in America, return visit here to Turning Stone. This is our first look at Jesse Sylvia you in know, Phil, the one seat. Uh, one of the reasons, one of the reasons if we all share, yes. we're all rewarded for our reads and not reads. You know that, right? It's not just about you. Right. I know. It's just, I just need a little delay. I just a little cushion. A mind cushion, you know? I'm going to play by putting in the correct amount of chips and continuing. Lock calls, Deeb calls. Phil just wants every tiny little edge. He won't share his <laughs> whole card. Like, really? Come on, Phil. I mean. Triple five. Good lord. Lock is well, checked. I'll tell him a little bit. I just have to let the hand, you know, de in the brain a little bit. 400? So that's 250. Three and a quarter? 250. I think that's a raise. He said yeah, 400. What is that? that should be a raise to five. Just saying. Uh, that's true. I actually I thought it was 400 because I saw the two black chips. And that's not an angle, but if you want, I'll raise. What? I'm, I'm folding regardless, but I think it's just I'm, a raise. I'm not going to, like, try to. Okay, two fifty. I'm not proud of my hand, but I'm proud. I'm proud enough to put in the two fifty. It sounded like he asked a question. Four hundred. Yeah, yeah, I think his was, intent was I, pretty I, clear. I, I'm not. Go ahead. Thank you, Jesse. I check. Just let's check it down, Jesse. Lock checks again, so actions on Sylvia. Hold on, slow down. I'll pay you to check. <laughs> oh, whatever. I gotta pay him off. There you go. Take the money. Well, Phil, you're not paying him off right now. You're in the lead. Ace Jack, is it any good now? It feels like it has less power. Less power? Jack, Ooh. I knew it was gonna be. I checked. You yeah. might have Ace Five or Pocket Ace or something. I don't have Ace Jack. I'll just let you know. I was bull earlier. One more bet from Sylvia here on the river. Let's see if it's enough to get rid of Locke and his tens. And no set, no bet. Oh, I don't really want to call. How much is it? 15.50. You think Phil has eights or tens left? 
15 I actually haven't been paying attention. And Locke makes the right decision. Wow. 10, just what I had a month. Oh my God. Phil, they got a full house and it took that long. Yeah, because I'm just, you know, I told them I had ace jack and they bet. So playing. I was like. <laughs> Phil, I called your hand. Did you like that? Yep, I heard that. I'll, get, I'll, be, I'll go 200 to 400. That it was suited? Or yeah, that it was it, of spades? 6 4 spades, exactly. You win, you win 500 if it's not 6 Boy, he raises spades, to 150. So wow. That. That's You're that's always that's working, aren't you? And okay. You, you got it. it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're, talking not, we're talking the one no. with helmet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. You got a deal. 200 of Sean D making his 248th appearance on yeah. Poker Night in America. Yeah. Raises well, with 10 five, 5 of hearts. We would expect on no another less. Another bet 500 to 1500. I'll take the first one. Okay. You seem pretty yeah. sure. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I think I just made 200. I'll lay 5. Four he one. calls. <laughs> I would lay 50 to 1. Is that one. true? Yeah, if you want 50 to 1. Flops 50 eight high, but for Sean Deeb, a couple of hearts will pique his interest to go on with this hand. Yeah, we can keep the bet. 550, from Deeb is the bet. Oh, she doesn't want out. All right. Antonio, by the way, is the most earning call from in the Bori. I see him in a tournament, and he's like, I made 6,000 today in a lot of things. In a $1,000 tournament. Like, what and are you the turn about? is another heart. Yeah, that that gives Deeb the flush. Bori has already checked, so Deeb's now wondering how much he's going to be trying to extract from Liv here. $1,425, as Phil Locke would say, is the bet. And once again, Liv Bori finds herself in an impossible spot and has to make a tough laydown. I'm not sure I'd have the discipline she is showing today, but of course, that's why she is a poker playing, heavy metal, guitar shredding, supermodeling, extreme sporting astrophysicist. Well, I'm Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. From Turning Stone Resort in upstate New York, welcome back to Poker Night in America. I also think that it helps, the new school helps, uh, one of the things that helps them be calmer about losing. Uh, I'm not known for being calm. Sean Deeb raises the 300. You guys hands. You're, you're not known you're for right, losing whatever, either. Whatever, Phil. whatever. I haven't exactly been the most graceful loser. Sylvia with ace jack. He calls. Maybe five nine of diamonds. You might have had five nine of diamonds. And it looks like Phil Helmuth is ready to get involved in his very first hand ever on Poker Night in America. And here comes Helmuth and Jax. He just calls. Did you wrap um, this share my pair? Yeah. That's the one you were telling me about last night. Yeah. I was actually... Oh no 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 no. Well, actually, oh. what I was telling you about the share my pair app's pretty pretty you cool. Involved? Yeah, I wanted to I talk to you about that, that. actually. Flop is six high, so Helmuth and his jacks are ahead. 650 from Deeb. That gets rid of Sylvia. Call from Helmuth. And sure, he's got a gut shot straight draw, so why not raise it to 4,000 from Phil Locke? No, 4,000. 4, Deeb folds. Wow, such a big raise if you have a set. I don't think you have a set. All right, I guess I'm all in. Phil goes all in and a call from Locke, obviously, Just with Jack's only 500 more to call. Oh, you got to show. I have to show? Yeah, you no, have you to have show to. on all yeah. the hands. 6-5, do you have? Wow, I can't run this twice. This is so sick. And the river. And Phil Helmuth right. is going to win a huge pot. Maybe. What's your phone? 
King six. I just like know he's got something stupid, but Phil's for sure got me. Beat. Well, Phil Helmuth, welcome to Poker Night in America. You played exactly one hand and you doubled up in your very first hand. 1.2 million for the Teaching Tolerance Charity. It's in one night. Every once a year, it's beautiful. You know, Todd, Todd won that last year or the year before. He got the button raised from Locke with Ace King. $25,000 Groff certificate. Oh, yeah, he did. It was such a quick one. He said he couldn't buy anything in the store except the pen. A repop from Deeb with 8.7 to 700. And a quick call from Phil Locke. Open-ended straight draw for Sean Deeb. Top pair, top kicker for Phil Locke. And Deeb is first with that draw. Looks like we're playing only big pots tonight on Poker Night in America. And just like that, Sean Deeb makes a straight on the turn. I bet it's 16.50. Locke calls. $6,300 in the middle as we go to the river. Deeb puts them all in the middle. $10,375 all in. If I call in a row, you flip me for 10, so I get shot to either get stuck 10 more or get unstuck. I don't even know why I ask. I know he's probably going to say yes to that if that was over. I call. The nuts. A call from Phil Locke has just turned into the biggest pot of the night on Poker Night in America worth over $27,000. There's 10. Take the rest, whatever you need, kid. And here's the updated chip count. Phil Locke is down 11000 for the night. And Phil Helmuth, who bought in for the minimum 5000 has already more than doubled that. Whatever you need. The advantage being Mrs. Jennifer Tilly. <laughs> oh my god. When we return, I'll host a panel with film critic Richard Roper, Oscar nominated movie star Jennifer Tilly, and humanoid Phil Locke as we discuss famous poker scenes portrayed in movies. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Now, if you're a poker player and a movie buff like I am, you've seen it happen in movies time and time again. The same ridiculous poker scenes where the pot gets splashed, the peanut gallery calls out the action, and the hero always slow rolls with the nuts. Now, here at Poker Night in America, we've put together a panel of poker and film experts for a new segment to talk about the times Hollywood gets it wrong or gets it right. Tonight's example, James Bond's straight flush versus the villain's full house in the 2006 film Casino Royale. This is Poker Night at the Movie. You know, I really love this film. I thought Daniel Craig, you know, is the best James Bond probably since Sean Connery. But that's one of the worst poker scenes I've ever seen in my life. It's it, the betting is crazy, and then the dealer should be fired. You know, <laughs> he's moving cards board. around. He's doing this. He's doing Damn. that, and. You know, you calculate the odds, and, and, and Phil and Jennifer can speak to this. What are the odds of those types of hands actually happening all in one? I, I, you can't calculate. It was funny because yeah. on News, Views, and Gossips, which is a website where a lot of uh, wizard poker players offer their thoughts, they picked apart the scene, and somebody had calculated, reverse engineered, oh, well, this man, if he started the hand with six and a half big blinds, why da, 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 did he get go all in with eight high or whatever, whatever hands the they had? Are, the blinds was a million, right? Yeah. 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 The, the big, big blinds was a million. Get, so I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah get and, it in there. Phil and I talk about everything. We have this <laughs> we think this might be true. Can you believe that James Bond splashed the pot like a little girl? He's like, <laughs> 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 everything spilling down. And then the other guy, the guy that bleeds from his eye, yeah. he splashes the pot too. We're like, everyone's so positive they're going to win this pot. They don't care if their chips get mixed up with everybody else's chips. And what about a side pot? 
you know, shouldn't there be a side pop? Let's give the, the movie a review. We're going to do this uh, based on uh, poker hands. Uh, so uh, we'll start with Jennifer. Uh, um, um, I would say uh, ace high uh, for in terms of poker <laughs> hands. Oh, right. <laughs> Barely good enough to win. All right, Richard Roper. Yeah, it's seven deuce off suit as a actual poker mm. scene, I think. And, mm -hmm. But but Jennifer's right. I mean, there's some good acting there. So that, okay, I'll give it a you know. I'll give okay, it a so nines. so far our yeah. best hand is ace high yeah. here yeah. for this it's, poker it's, scene. It's I, w I originally was gonna just say yeah around there, but maybe pocket fours because I, I wouldn't mind fours racing with like ace eight in this spot. The thing that was disappointing is all the buzz in the poker community right. was there's this amazing poker it's scene. It's a big deal. That was what and killed it was, us. Like, yeah. So insulting and pocket threes. So I'm gonna give it. Pocket three. Four I is will, too high. I mean, I Four gotta say, too, high. Three, this is yeah. a movie that probably had a budget of what, $100 million? How could get they not get that right? Yeah. This they is the equivalent of a dart scene where the guy hits the bullseye <laughs> and then the dart splits the yeah. dart. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, ah. so Casino Royale, James Bond film. Right. We have an ace high, seven deuce offsuit, <laughs> and pocket threes, maybe yeah. pocket fours, yeah. with the hope of setting up on the flop. <laughs> right. uh, so that is our review of uh, the poker scene from Casino Royale. Man, that was a lot of fun. You can see more Poker Night at the movies in upcoming episodes. For more from Poker Night in America, log on to PokerNight.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. Also be sure to check out our online store for Poker Night hoodies, shirts, hats, and more. For everyone at Poker Night in America, I'm Chris Hansen. And this would make a much better movie is if they were all cheating. And James Bond <laughs> is the it. best cheater because, of course, he's James Bond. And, of course, and for, on top of that, he sticks it in by slow rolling. We saw him, so I go, oh, my God, I cannot believe James Bond is a slow roller. He has a full house. That is a very good. He's explaining to the girl that got the boob job in the middle of the movie. <laughs> I was saying to Richard, I'm positive that girl went out in the middle of the filming. Filming takes seven or eight um, months and got a boob job. Because at the beginning, she had very beautiful, natural breasts. We saw the lingerie shot. And at the end, he pulls her out of the water. He's getting her artificial, um, uh, you know, and I thought she was going to explode. It was like he's pumping her up. They were like, Whoa. Poker Night is brought to you by 888 Poker, where the world plays online.